What is a red dwarf? Red dwarfs are the most common types of stars in the universe. They are, as the name suggests, small red stars that form from small collapsed molecular clouds. Now, I mentioned that red dwarfs are the most common type of star in the universe. However, if we were to go outside and look up at the night sky, we'll see a ton of stars, but we will not be able to see a single red dwarf with the naked eye. The reason why you won't be able to see a red dwarf is because red dwarf stars are small and very, very dim compared to a star like our sun. Yet, they are the most common stars in the entire universe. Kind of puts into perspective just how much of the universe we're not seeing. One of the most significant things about red dwarfs, though, is their lifespan. They live a very, very long time. Our sun is estimated to approximately have a lifespan of around 10 billion years, give or take. A red dwarf is estimated to likely be able to survive for trillions of years. The reason why is because red dwarfs are much smaller and easier to stabilize through nuclear fusion. They're much more efficient at nuclear fusion than a star like our sun because our sun is much bigger. Because they're so much more efficient than our sun, they live a lot longer than our sun. Red dwarfs do not last forever though. Eventually they do run out of hydrogen to burn. However, instead of expanding into a red giant, red dwarfs are predicted to instead become blue dwarfs and eventually fade into white dwarfs. From there, they are predicted to possibly fade into a star called a black dwarf. Now, I keep saying predicted because it is impossible to know if any of these are really correct. The reason why is because the universe has not existed long enough for a red dwarf to reach the end of its lifespan. And who knows, maybe if something like, I don't know, the big crunch hypothesis were to turn out to be correct, and maybe if it happens in a sooner time than we might think, maybe in the next 10 billion years it happens, maybe no red dwarfs will ever reach the end of their lifespan. Who knows?